Hello my guys, gals, and non-binary pals. So, last week's video was, um, a bit of a wreck. Uh, I forgot to put in music and the audio editing was awful. It just all around, yeah, no, it needed work. I also struggled a lot with this video too. Um, I've tried recording this audio like three times, four at this point, but it's fine. I'm learning, I'm getting better, hopefully. And since I'm starting to take this more seriously, I decided why not today make a PFP, Twitter banner, all that stuff. Originally, I was going to also make an intro and end card, but well, that's taking a lot longer than I originally thought. I've been working on it for a few days and I've barely made any progress. Hopefully that'll be next week's video or the uh, week afterwards. Also, another update, I think I'm going to plan on posting weekly around every Sunday. So if you want more content like this, uh, make sure you subscribe for that. Hopefully the quality will be going up from here. So my idea was to make everything silver themed since, well, that's my name. So for the PFP, I'm having it be a coin, and for the banner, it's like a sheet of metal with vines on it. Those were the concepts I had originally. Those will change as the video goes on, but for now, I'm just sketching out my persona. I don't really know what I'm doing, like I'm looking at these coin references. But I'm not thinking about them, I'm just looking and being like, oh god, that's a lot of shades, that's a lot of stuff going on. So I'm just kind of making it up. So I'm just going and drawing my character. It's pretty basic pose, but I didn't want to do anything too crazy since it's just a PFP. I'm still not knowing what I'm doing. Making line art, hoping it goes well. and then I actually have to start doing stuff. So I start off just shading in the eyes and doing some general shading. I don't know what I'm doing still, but I'm like, you know what? I'll just push through, I'll make it work. So it's a mess right now, but I just try and add so much shading and dimension and depth, except I don't really do that much. And it's still looking trash. I tried doing uh, on the coin, I noticed there are some darker parts, so I tried doing that here, and I don't like it. But I'm like, okay, it's fine, it's done. Then I start working on the uh, banner. So I start off with all my social medias, which you should follow by the way. Um, and then I tried to make it look like it's ingrained. So I select it all and I go over it with um, an airbrush with some dark opacity. I think it turned out okay. It doesn't really look too engraved or realistic, but it's fine. It took a long time to do though. like. I didn't have the opacity very high and the shade very dark, so I just was going over these letters over and over again. Uh, I think I watched like a whole stream of someone's just to finish this, but I did eventually. Then I tried adding little uh, logos for each of the social medias and tried to make them kind of look stickerish because I was thinking, okay, how realistically could these end up? on a sheet of metal and that's what I came up with. It's not that I'm trying to make this like hyper realistic or something, I'm just trying to think of how that would occur I guess. I'm trying to make it look like a sheet of metal of course, but it doesn't have to be like realistic, just I want it to be something that could happen, I guess. 
why do I have a YouTube channel when I can't even talk? I don't know. So I started adding in the vines. I think they originally look good, then I try adding on leaves. I'm not using references though, and I don't know what I'm doing. And I think they looked fine flat if I had like left them like that. Obviously that wasn't gonna work with the rest of the thing. So I try shading them, uh, except once again not using references and not knowing what I'm doing and not thinking about things. I add veins onto the leaves and I'm looking at it and I'm like, god that's awful. So I start over and this time I'm not adding leaves. That led me astray last time, so no leaves. Um, I had a lot more vines though. And this time I tried, I was like, all right, I'll just push the shading, which I didn't really do still. <laughs> I just wasn't thinking about like the real objects and how they would look. So it's just turning out really bad. Like I try shading it, I try making it better and it's just not working. So just keep pushing through, ignoring the vines at this point. I keep looking at them and I'm debating whether to take them away and eventually I do. But now it looks empty so I pull out a watercolor brush and turn it down on low opacity and try and make it like, I don't know, look dirty. And then I move the text over to the side so that it'll show up on Twitter. Now I really didn't like how my PFP turned out and I thought the engraving on the metal sheet turned out fine so I'm like, okay. What if I just kind of make it like a metal circle that's engraved? So I tackled the PFP again. I just sketched a much more simple concept since the lines have to be fairly thick. I don't think I made them thick enough though because when I later on go and shade it, uh, there's not much light part, but it's fine. It's not the end of the world. It is a PFP, so it's like usually at a small scale, so it doesn't matter too much anyway. If there are like little imperfections, I think overall it's fine. It's much better than my first one anyway, and that's what we care about. Improvement. That's that's all we need. We don't need perfection, just improvement. So this one, um, I decide to make the opacity a lot darker and actually have the color I selected be darker so that hopefully it takes less time. And it did. I didn't have to go over things like six times now. Then I turned the opacity of the actual layer down a bit, but it was looking empty. So I tried like adding gold to the eyes, thinking maybe that'll help. Uh, no, it looked kind of weird. I tested out a few other things, but nothing really looked right. So I just went through and highlighted it and I was like, okay, this is fine. Looking back, I I think I should have added in the same dirt grime that I added to the metal sheet and I might do that after this video on my own um, if I'm not feeling lazy. I do have a lot of work to be doing for the next video so I don't know if I'll have time for it. Uh, so if you want to make sure you don't miss that one, make sure to subscribe. Um, also like this video, you know, it makes my day. Also make sure you follow my Twitter, uh, I post a lot of my artwork there, and I also give notifications for when videos are coming out, and I will usually just give little hints and teasers for what the next video will be. So if you want some of that stuff, make sure to go there, and I'll see you next week.